The German Parliament had to decide whether it was going to back the new bailout fund for Europe, this thing called the European Financial Stability uh, Facility, which is 440 billion euros, which the European Union is piecing together to try and act as a firewall against the financial markets, taking out various members of the single currency. What happened was that the Europeans got together at a summit in July, said they needed more money to fend off the speculators, agreed to put together this fund which has to be agreed by every member of the single currency, all 17 countries. It was, looked like a big pot of money in July, it doesn't look quite as big a pot of money now. The crisis has moved on, deepened, broadened out into Spain and, and Italy and people are now talking about the need for a two trillion euro fund, so they need to leverage this fund up in some way, five-fold, turn one euros into five, which is going to be one heck of a struggle. Abgegebene Stimmen, 611. Mit Ja haben gestimmt, 523. Mit Nein haben gestimmt, 85. Enthaltungen, 3. Der Gesetzentwurf ist damit angenommen. Germany is quite simply the paymaster of Europe. Germany is the biggest economy and the richest economy in the European Union. And if the Germans say we are not writing any more cheques, then it's, it's good night to uh, Greece as a member of the Eurozone, probably good night to Portugal and a few other countries as well, because without the Germans' willingness to, to bankroll everybody else, um, that's it. But I mean, the fact is that Germany's Germany's in a difficult position because on the one hand there's an awful lot of political opposition at home um, to just writing endless checks for the, for the people that they see as sort of wastrels on the fringes of the European Union. On the other hand, an awful lot of German business is done with the rest of the European Union. A lot of German companies, a lot of German banks will be vulnerable to a collapse. So it's a very, very delicate balancing act for the German political class, which is Yes, they, they could well be punished at the elections if they support the bailouts, but they would certainly be punished economically if they don't support the bailouts. The question really is, is it too little too late? And is it just really reacting to events fighting the last war rather than the next war? And that is sort of what it, this looks like. It would have been a disaster had the German parliament not passed it. So it's good news that it has, but it's not by any means the end of, this, end of the matter. People thought that 440 billion euros was a lot of money. There are some people who think that even 2 trillion is not enough. There's even talk now of a 3 trillion euro fund. And essentially the, 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 what, they, what they hope is that that would be a sort of a demonstration of shock and awe, which would frighten the markets into submission. So you would think as a, as a speculator, do I really want to take on the, the European Union, the European Commission, knowing that they've got this sort of money at their disposal and the answer to that might well be no because you could get your fingers very badly burned. The, 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 so that's, that's, that's the issue really. I mean, the, the, there are two, two points I suppose. One is can the Europeans piece together um, a suitably large sum of money and has anybody in the markets really got the sort of George Soros gall to go for the, the weaker, weaker members as Soros did with Sterling in 1992 before they do it. And at the moment the markets are sort of it's slightly sort of, there's a temporary pause going on, a bit of a phony war there. The question really is, can the politicians get their act together before the financial markets do something which could turn quite nasty?